Hello friends, reports have shown that waterproofing only accounts for 1% of a building's construction cost. But when ignored, it can be responsible for almost 90% of the damage. Moisture also causes metals to rust. Waterproofing also prevents damage caused due to water seepage, which can ruin the structural integrity of your home. One can have a question here that if I have done concreting, then why waterproofing is required? The answer is, even the best of the concrete is not gas tight or water tight unless the pores are closed. Waterproofing means treating a surface to protect it from the damages that water could bring. Just remember that not all waterproofing materials are suitable for all purposes. Let us understand which areas in a building needs waterproofing. Basement of the building, kitchen, toilet and bathroom, balcony areas, decks, roof, terrace, swimming pool, water tank, podium areas, exterior walls, etc. Let us discuss about conventional waterproofing systems like brick bat coba, mud fusca. These systems are inelastic and thus they are bound to get cracks in them over a period of time. Thermal expansion and contraction cause cracks in the concrete and also in materials like brick bat coba and mud fusca. Besides, very often the manpower used for laying of these materials is unskilled. In case of terrace areas, use of such conventional methods of waterproofing means regular seepage and leakage issues and regular expenditure on repairs. In addition, breaking of the old layer of waterproofing to repair it also weakens the slab. It requires marble or china mosaic on it, so ultimately it increases load on the structure. The usual method of waterproofing exterior walls is the use of exterior paints. However, paints are 30 to 50 micron thick and are not thick enough to resist the wind lashing rains that can damage the paint film. Thus, over a period of time, the paint tends to crack or peel, leading to problems like damp patches and seepage, especially in the monsoon. By recognizing the adverse effects of thermal expansion, which compromise conventional methods, new waterproofing products have been developed that are elastic in nature, wear well and ensure a leak-free existence of the structure. We will discuss about them now. Cementitious Waterproofing Cementitious waterproofing is easy to apply but it lacks flexibility. This is because cement does not have a lot of flexibility to begin with. While concrete does flex, bend, compress and stretch but it is only minimal. Thus expansion and contraction process will not take place in cementitious waterproofing. That's why this type of waterproofing is called as rigid or semi-flexible type waterproofing. Cementitious waterproofing has inability to hold up cracks, which further cause leakage. Hence, this type of waterproofing should not be exposed to sunlight and weathering and that's why generally it is used for indoor wet areas like toilets, kitchens and bathrooms. Cementitious waterproofing products are available in spray and liquid forms. Cementitious coating is a powder that consists of sand, organic and inorganic chemicals and silica based substances. When the active ingredients are combined with lime, it causes a hydration reaction creating a waterproof seal. The thickness of this type of waterproofing ranges from 1 mm to 2 mm. Generally, polymers are added to cementitious waterproofing to increase its flexibility and durability. It is not suitable for heavy traffic areas. Also, it is not suitable for areas which are exposed to chemicals. It is suitable for concrete and masonry surfaces only. Professionals utilize them to create a waterproof seal over concrete structures such as foundations, walls, sidewalks and walkways. These waterproofing products are also utilized to treat water retaining structures, concrete tunnels, tanks, as well as water treatment facilities. Bituminous Waterproofing 
Bitumen, also known as asphalt or coal tar pitch, is a mixed substance made up of organic liquids that are highly sticky, viscous, and waterproof. Bituminous waterproofing is of two types bituminous coating waterproofing and bituminous membrane waterproofing. Let us discuss about bituminous coating waterproofing first. It is also called as asphalt coating. Bituminous coating is not suitable for exposure to sunlight. It becomes very brittle and fragile when long exposure to sunlight. Unless it is modified using a more flexible material like polyurethane or acrylic based polymers. Its flexibility and protection against water depends on solid content of the polymer grade as well as reinforcement of the fiber added to the bitumen. They are polymer modified bitumen emulsions which require no torch or flame to be applied. They are available as water based or solvent based coatings. Uses It is a very good protective coating and waterproofing agent especially on areas facing ground moisture such as surfaces of concrete foundations, wet areas, swimming pools, renovation projects. It is typically used for residential and industrial buildings. It is also used as an adhesive to bond lightweight thermal insulation boards. Bituminous Membrane Waterproofing These membranes come in roll forms. These are then unfurled and laid on a firm surface. These membranes have a thickness of 2 mm to 4 mm of waterproof materials and have an elongation of 150% to seal any and all cracks. The bituminous membrane has a torch on the membrane and self-adhesive membrane. Self-adhesive compounds comprise asphalt, polymers and filler. The self-adhesive type has a low shelf life as bonding properties of the membrane reduces with time. Hence, certain resins and oils are added to improve adhesion characteristics. Torch on membrane uses a fire touch to melt the bituminous layer on the member for bonding. Bitumen based products has a black color and they soften under summer heat. They have a limited life due to solvent evaporation. Generally, these type of waterproofing membranes are covered with screed concrete to prevent the puncture of the membrane. Bituminous membranes are used for retaining walls, basements, below ground structures, foundations, flat roofs, balconies, wet areas, bridges, etc. Now let us discuss liquid waterproofing membrane. It offers more flexibility than cementitious type of waterproofing by forming a rubbery coating on the applied surface. This membrane is capable of extending and returning to its original shape without damage. The elongation properties of the coating can reach as high as 280%. These are generally considered to be superior to sheet based membranes as they are joint free. However, care must be taken in application to provide just the right thickness. If thickness of coating is too thin then it can tear or break. Liquid membrane is a thin coating which consists of usually a primer coat and two coats of top coats which are applied by using a trowel, spray, roller or brush. Such coating systems are usually reinforced with secondary materials such as glass reinforced plastic to provide additional tensile strength. This type of waterproofing can be applied over other waterproofing materials like felt, asphalt, bitumen and concrete. It can deliver up to 25 years performance depending on the coating system employed. It is estimated that liquid waterproofing is 70% less expensive than overall roof replacement in refurbishment situations. The durability of waterproofing depends on type of polymer used for making of the liquid waterproofing. It can be used on roofs, terraces, below grade structures, basements, podiums, bridge decks, tank lining, wet rooms, etc. Polyurethane waterproofing Polyurethane is made up of two components, base and reactor. Polyol acts as a base while isocyanide is the reactor component. 
the combination of both these in a specific design ratio creates a liquid coating for waterproofing applications. Unlike other waterproofing systems like sheet membranes and liquid applied membranes, this polyurethane application requires comparatively less skill and supervision. Application is fast and this type of treatment can be used for post construction applications as well. It is easy to install, provides seamless finish and have a long term durability and wear resistance. It is UV and weather resistant. Polyurethane can resist oils, detergents and other chemicals. It does so by penetrating the surface very deeply. But there are some risks here. You need to understand that this material can be dangerous. If the material touches your skin, there is a risk that you are going to experience adverse health effects. They might be short or long term. At the same time, they can be dangerous when inhaled. It is pertinent to let a professional handle the application process. Polyurethane liquid membrane can be utilized for many purposes. For instance, it can add waterproofing to pedestrian decks, water tanks, ponds, balconies, roofs, bridges, parking decks, and so much more. On an average, it is estimated that this material has a working life of 25 years. Polyurethane liquid membrane can offer higher flexibility. Polyurethane is very sensitive to moisture content. Therefore, before application, one has to be very careful evaluating the moisture content of the concrete slab. Otherwise, peeling or debonding of membranes may happen after some time. This waterproofing method is expensive as compared to all the other methods. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.